it's me. Dance, bitch. Dance, bitch. It's giving. Hello Divas, I am Cherry West, the Red Berry of Edinburgh, and girl, welcome back to a brand new episode of Red Berry Reviews. If you're new here and haven't seen this gorgeous face before, then make sure to like, comment down below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Anyway, this week we're reviewing the brand new girl group episode of RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 6. Now, everyone knows that I am a girl group diva, so I was so excited to review this episode, and... I was like, who can we get that is has brought us the songs, brought us the verses? None other than the da 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 Dita Garbo. Is this Battersea Dogs home? Cause I can smell bitches. Dita Dita da 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 Dita. Hello, girl. You look incredible. Oh, uh, we're matchy matchy today. I mean, this totally was not planned, guys. It was just so <laughs> such a shock. But um, no, I am obsessed. You have been so incredible this season. How how is the process of Drag Race UK been? A whole mix of emotions, right? Um, crazy whirlwind. Um, going into filming and everything else, and then that period after filming where you're like incognito and no one knows to yeah. then all of a sudden like the world knows your name um but like you know it's been incredible and i've only seen love so i've not seen any hate so that's a good thing well you've clearly not been watching the youtube <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll watch it after this and then i'll be uh... <laughs> so this week is girl groups now Obviously, unfortunately, you were... Would you say you were the first eliminated? Because you technically were. I was technically the first eliminated. Yeah. Um, I was the second to go home. So yeah. some people are calling me a pork chop. I prefer to be called a lamb cutlet. But um... <laughs> Obviously, you're a dancer. You're, you're, a bit, well, you're a singer, technically, with that song. How did you feel not getting to the girl groups? Oh, I was gutted when I, like found out that the week after I left was girl groups yeah. and also the runway as well because I was really excited for the nature runway so like but did you have a verse written no I didn't because obviously I got eliminated before it happened so and you don't get anything in advance so we we never know like what challenges are going to be in what order and stuff so yeah. what, are you, are you going to write a verse now I might do, why not? I like the fact it was a Halloween song. Now, when I first heard it was Halloween, I was like, oh my God, this is going to be like horrendous. And it actually is such a good song. Yeah, no, it was good. It was it was good. Yeah, um, I enjoyed it overall. The category for this week's runway was, was it Mother Nature? Mother Nature. Now, obviously, let's jump onto your look first. So you, you did this like massive, was it like a bee? No, I was a beetle. I was an Amazonian beetle. Oh my god. A designer that I knew creates like or recycles puffer cat like puffer jackets. Yeah. Um and I'd seen it and I was like, oh that's really cool. It kind of looks like a beetle. And then I so then I was like looking. And then I found this um Amazonian beetle called the Warty Beetle. Yeah. Who's got like purple and stuff. And I was like, oh my god, that's perfect. It talks about recycling. Um the beetle comes from the Amazon. The Amazon's being like deforested at a rate that like is insane. Mm -hmm. So like this whole story kind of really linked up and kind of like really meant something to me. Yeah. So yeah, I was. That's where it came from. No, it looked absolutely gorgeous, and I like the fact you posted like a a cool edited backdrop. And then I was like, oh, I kind of wish we got to see the look more. And then you posted like a a normal photo shoot, and it, the look is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm gutted we never got to see it on the main stage. Yeah, me too. I'm gutted. But hey-ho, is what it is. You can all go and see it. So first up to the main stage category is Mother Nature and we have Marmalade. Now this look, oh my God. Marmalade's incredible. Like, so w we were all expecting something fantastic for her and I think she nailed it. Like she looked gorgeous. Um, you know, she always looks gorgeous and it was nice to see her in a different makeup as well. It, it was very different and marmalade that i can't get over that big massive butterfly you could you could really see the detail and sometimes like all the stones and the detail on drag race really gets lost on camera but like it was yeah. picking up really nicely and i thought it was absolutely gorgeous i think this is definitely one of marmalade's best looks on drag race yeah definitely i don't know i don't know i 
personally i don't know if it was one of her best looks because like she's already had some good looks and i yeah. i think she's also got some amazing looks to come um but it was it was a really good look and i and it was nice me as going as an insect to see another insect on yeah. the runway and in the girl group marmalade was in a group with kyren this is testing my brain kyren octavia um the high run chanel there we go thank you very much I'm, did you i'm glad you wrote that down if you were to pick between the two groups what group would you want to be in oh i probably probably releases group releaser yeah. and, and kiki only because like i'm a dancer so i kind of feel their groove more yeah it was a stronger group but you know the thing about drag race is that you do challenges that some people really excel at and some yeah. people aren't very good at all it's not their forte shall we say so you know equally between both of those groups there were girls in there that dance isn't their forte so they but they all did amazing yeah 100 percent. um so yeah in the in the group i think marmalade's verse was really really good like if you just if you just listen to the track and not watch the performance i think it was a really good verse yeah no definitely it was a really good verse but um yeah, she just, I don't know, I, it, it just lacked a little bit of energy for me on stage. I, I agree with that. I think, I think in the look that she wore in the girl group was as well, I think it was absolutely gorgeous. I want that since I am the Queen of Red. My only criticism, if I can be a little bit of a critique, you know, was just the um, the crutch on the, what was like the leotard bodysuit. Yeah. It was just a little bit wide for me. Yeah. That was all. Moving on to our next queen category is Mother Nature and we have Octavia. Okay, speaking of best looks, I think this is that Tava's best runway so far. I would agree, because sometimes yeah. um, sometimes Octavia, she has a lot going on. So this was a bit more pared back. I I, I was guessing that she was going to do fire. <laughs> She's a very fiery dancer. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was cute. I wouldn't say it was the best interpretation of fire, but I really like the look on her, and I agree with what you said. But... I think this was really strong for Octavia because um, sometimes the, the Romy looks haven't been my favourite, but this one, I think she looks absolutely gorgeous and I love that wig. In the girl group, I I liked Octavia's verse. I think it was a good verse. I didn't understand a word she was saying. That's because it was in Welsh. <laughs> well, fair enough. Um, she always works it, so it was it was exciting. For, I guess she was absolutely living her girl group fantasy because, you know, I'm... she's a dancing queen, so... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, she she pulled it out the back. Moving on to our next queen, we have the Scottish queen Chanel O'Connor. Now this Chanel, look, Chanel. yeah, girl, I it was, this is very different for Chanel. <laughs> what can I say? Um, she looked gorgeous. She always looks gorgeous in the face. Um, for me, I didn't I, quite get the nature aspect. I mean, she was being a goddess. Yeah, but to me, that's more. I don't know. That's not necessarily so nature. Um, and I will just I will just critique her because she's a seamstress. And I just think if you're gonna be a goddess, have a lot more flowing material and like I just I just thought it was a bit lackluster. I think um it was more given like heavenly rather than nature. Um Yeah, I agree. I, I think I can kind of see the vision of what she was trying to do. Um although I don't think I mean she looked good, I just don't think it excelled in the category of the runway i just personally thought for for you know one of the two sewers in the competition um like she could have just really ramped that up a lot yeah. more than she did i agree in the girl group chanel's verse i loved the verse i thought the verse was good it's just and her like facial expressions like she really sold it um yeah. i really like what she wore in the girl group because that like really it. like it she really stood out for me and she's not a strong dancer she's a yeah. mover but she's not a dancer and i think she held her own to be fair in that i thought i enjoyed it i think her verse was one of my favorites from that group yeah um what group was she in yes <laughs> ah, <do you> <laughs> it's like who else was in her group um yes actually the yes. child one moving on to our next queen we have miss charity Okay, Miss Charity. Charity, I think should have been in the top this week. Maybe not win, but I think she should have been in the top. Like, hi, I think her outfit not completely different, not doing a primary color, which was so nice to see. To be fair, like 
I didn't get as soon as she walked out. And then as she walked down the runway and she was knitting a little spider's web, I was like, oh, now I get it. Yeah. Um, I think if you're going to do a spider, then like just go full out being a spider. Um, and it was nice to see her in black. <laughs> in the girl groups, Charity's verse was insane i was gagged she was she did really well like again like she's not a dancer but she's a mover um yeah. but she knows she knows who she is and she she sold it really well yeah i agree i think it was so good and i love that she wore purple because it stood out but on to our next queen we have kiki snatch okay so firstly she was bringing the confessionals this episode she was giving screen time and i was not complaining no i was worried because <laughs> Always when someone gets a lot of screen time, I'm like, oh, what's coming? <laughs> what do you think of this runway? Um, personally, she looked gorgeous. Her skin looked gorgeous. Her body looked gorgeous. Um, face snatched. Um, wig could have been a lot bigger. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but also, like, personally, I wasn't really overwhelmed by it. For me, it was just a corset with then panties and a bra flower stuck over the top of it. Like The corset, and then it's just literally got flowers glued. It's giving a sewing challenge. Yeah, if she'd have done that for a sewing challenge, I'd have been like, that looks good, girl. Well done. Much better than your ET look. <laughs> yeah, I was, I think, yeah, it was not the best. Um, But yeah, in the girl group, I think Kiki Snatch just... I mean, I mean, she was in her element. Like, that's what she does. Like, so yeah. we knew she was going to kill it. And, like, well, her and Melissa together just owned that. I I thought it was going to be a double win. Well, no, because Relisa beat her on looks. <laughs> oh, well, yes, of course. Kiki's runway was up there. She would have won because that performance was insane. Like, sh this episode was hers. If you just take away the, the wrong way. Yeah. See, for me, like, going into the show, because you, you never know, like, what order challenges are going to be in. You don't know yeah. what order runways are going to be in or any of that. And I just thought to myself, well, if I do bad in a challenge, I want to make sure that whatever runway I'm putting out there is going to be phenomenal. And I'm, yeah. like, super happy with it which even I was last week with my new romantics look because yeah. it was very authentic and the critiques I got for, for it were all amazing. Just that didn't happen for me. They didn't save me on my look. But there we go. That's another story. Um, moving on to our next queen, we have Kyren Prax. Now, this runway presentation was so good. I was I was genuinely like, what the hell has she got under there? Because it was huge. And okay. then she revealed it to I a cat. The anticipation, too. darling, the anticipation. Yeah. I love a cat suit, right? But I think it's because she, yeah, me too. because we were so it's excited. Not just a box down to green velour one with some flowers stuck on it. Well, yes, we were so excited. I was expecting like this like phenomenal thing, and it was just it was quite funny though. So it's like we can let her off because it was funny. I mean, like the first part of the outfit looked like insane. Yeah. Her makeup, yeah. the headpiece. Um, I don't know whether she did it just for like a silly gag, but if you're gonna do a reveal, you need to do a reveal. Yeah. And that was the roof flop. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> in the girl groups, Kyron's verse was one of the best in her group, no doubt. Um, yeah. She was one of the strongest, and her look as well. I loved that look. Yeah, me too. Like, she looked phenomenal. Um, she performed amazingly. Um, I've seen her perform live anyway, and she yeah. always, like, pulls it out the bag. And whatever she does, she really works the stage. Again... Like, she's not necessarily a trained dancer, but she knows how to move and she can pick up choreography. So, yeah, she was like, she was a standout in her group. Moving on to our next queen, we have Lavoie. Now, this runway look, I think it was really cool. I love this wig. Um, the outfit is nice. It's just... <laughs> um, it was, for Lavoie, it was good because it's, it's Lavoie stepping outside of her box yeah i liked concept of the volcano um i wasn't overly sold by the dress just because yeah. like 
I think it was just like the, the way the gown was. I don't know whether it was like um like came from under the bust, but there was one clip when she turned to the side, and I was like, oh my god, she pregnant. <laughs> it was just the way the lava was like over yeah. her body, and I was like, oh, who's Lavoie been sleeping with? <laughs> In the girl groups, I love Lavoie's look. The the ghost. It was very calm, but it was very hard. I didn't like I the hair. The you hate the what? I hated her boots. Oh, I don't remember the boots. Were they back? Oh, go back and have a look. You'll hate them too. <laughs> <laughs> but she, I mean, she picked up the choreography and her verse is going to be very Lavoie. Like, it's what she does. She's a singer. Love so, about, like, she had no no worries about recording that and, and performing that. Um, she, she, I mean, she held her own in the girl group challenge, but it wasn't, for me, a standout. Yeah. that's, that's Especially uh, with that's... those boots. Oh my god, do you hate the boots? They're terrible. <laughs> uh, moving on to our next queen, we have Lil. Now, this runway look, the headpiece with the stones was incredible. Yeah, headpiece was like, the snake headpiece was just phenomenal. She looked amazing. Yeah. I loved the concept. <laughs> in the group, <laughs> in the girl groups. Now, I loved the outfit. I think it was a nice outfit. I'd wear that. Yeah, um, she looked great. See, I know Lil, right? And she is not a dancer and she is not a mover. <laughs> so, like, when this was announced, like, automatically, I just was like, oh, like, this is going to be a hard one for Lil. And yeah. and I know what it's like when, you, when you're in the situation and then you get in your head about things. Yeah. Um, and then you just can't get out of your head because you're in this crazy bubble. So I think she was very much in her head. And she, like, I think if she'd have maybe just let loose a bit more or, or even like, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how much like they rehearsed afterwards or if any of the girls like pulled her aside and was like, come on, let, let's do this. Like, let's work on this together. Yeah. Um, I mean, but yeah, I mean, I think she knew that she was going to struggle in this. Um, but again, like, her look was better than some of the other looks on the runway. Yeah, I agree. Um, it was so gutting because you could see her in her head. And it was like, oh, my God. Um, but, I mean, oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. You can't really... Do you know bit, what it does uh, like, you know, be in the bottom two, bitch. <laughs> the first wasn't the worst. I think you could just see her get in her head and it was like, oh, come on. Um, but I mean, she tried and at least she didn't give up. So, no. period. Moving on to our next queen, we have Relisa Slaves. Now, girl, she had this in the bag. I loved that they were giving Kiki so much screen time to, for everyone to think, oh my God, it's going to be Kiki's. And then Relisa came right out and was like, although she literally like does music with Becky Hill and is on tour with Becky Hill. So I was not surprised. Um, yeah, yeah, me either. Like she was in her element. Yeah, she's she a dancer. Was. She's a singer. She knows. She knows who Releasa is. She knows how to sell Releasa, and that's exactly what she did in that girl group challenge. Yeah. And like, again, like I've worked with Releasa, and whenever I watch her, like I just you just can't look anywhere else apart from just watch Releasa because she's so okay. she's got she's got so much charisma about her when she's on stage, I and also her runway look. Her runway look was absolutely gorgeous. Can the we talk about her actually wearing a dress? Yeah, <laughs> I know! The blue, oh my god, I want that outfit. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. The way it went around the shoulder and was just like so perfectly made. The, the blue wig and everything, like, yeah, it was just, it was all on point. She looked phenomenal and she deserved to be where she was. 100%, I agree. I Like, this was her week, hands down. Um, I do think her and Kiki were just like, like that. And, but obviously the runway look kind of made Kiki go down. But um, th this look is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so yeah, excited she's... to see what else Relisa brings to the competition. Yeah. Moving on to our last queen on the runway, we have Zahira. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Not us doing that at the same time. Um, <laughs> this runway look, oh my God, the headpiece was absolutely gorgeous. I do agree with what the judges. She looked just square yeah it did make, make her look short and she's uh, like she's a short girl anyway and so just yeah it didn't it didn't help her proportions yeah um but i mean that headpiece i saw the headpiece like 
in real life and it was yeah. phenomenal like when i was just in awe i was like i want to wear that myself <laughs> <laughs> it looked like she had do you know when you get like a delivery and they put so much of that like do you know like the the bumpy thing it looked like that was around her <laughs> i think i think it did but um i thought that when i seen it last night i was like huh um but yeah i think in the girl groups I didn't like Zahira's wig. The outfit was okay. Like, I didn't mind the outfit for the girl group. Um, I just feel like I could see what she wanted to do and I could see what she wanted to present. Yeah. Um, but, like, as a dancer myself, like, seeing them rehearse the lift and, like, and I was like, they're not doing that properly at all. Like, oh my I, God. If she's doing what she's supposed to be doing, I don't think the others are doing what they're supposed to be doing. And I was just like, oh, like, yeah, yeah. needed help. There's. The, the the verse itself wasn't bad it's just it was too much on stage with like the crawling and in the she just wanted to show her best self and it kind of just got lost yeah some, sometimes it's good to like pair things back a little bit yeah um well how many streams have you streamed of um of dance bitch That's really you've not cool. streamed it once like <laughs> i've watched the music video does that count as streaming it sorry <laughs> but yeah thank you very much for coming on this week i really appreciate it it means a lot um where can we find you on all social medias for those that don't follow you and where can we stream your song so you can follow me on instagram at, in, at dita underscore garbo or you can follow me everywhere else as dita garbo um you can find me on um uh, iTunes or Spotify as Dita Garbo. There is only one bitch called Dita Garbo in the world, so <laughs> type only... it in, bitch, and you'll find it. And there's only one bitch with a, a, a song called Dance Bitch, probably. Exactly. I'm that sure every think... fucker is dancing to. <laughs> if you enjoyed this week's video, make sure to like, comment down below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And girl, make sure to use code CHERRY10 for 10% off. Or if you spend £20 on my merch, you can get 50% off. So head over to my website, www.cherrywest.co.uk. Because bitch.